Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So this video today, I have absolutely no idea what the quality is going to be like because I'm filming on my iPhone. I'm having some serious issues with my laptop where I edit all my videos and I still want to bring out videos for you. So I'm just gonna have to film on my iPhone and hope that the quality is okay. So I want to talk about a subject that has been on my mind a lot lately. And this is the subject of making friends in Germany as a foreigner or an expat, whatever you want to call us. So this is a very, very common topic of discussion within the expat community. A really common reason why people come to Germany in hopes of staying in Germany and building their life here and then deciding to leave is because they struggle to integrate. They struggle to make friends or just find friends and keep friends, especially when it comes to trying to make friends with Germans. This is just such a common topic. If you watch any videos of expats talking about their experience with first coming to Germany and the struggles they had, I can pretty much guarantee you that they're going to be talking about how hard it is to make friends with Germans. And I have struggled with this a lot. I've lived in Germany for over a decade now and it's taken me quite a long time to actually realize what's going on here. Like why are people struggling so much in Germany to make friends? And you know, what is the difference between Germans and people from other countries? Why do they make it so hard for us? I've realized that what New Zealanders would consider a friend is very different to what a German would consider a friend. So there's a common saying, and don't quote me on this, but it goes something along the lines of once you have a German friend, you have a friend for life. And I have to tell you, there is so much truth to this saying. And I have learned this over the years that it is so possible to make friends in Germany and make really good friends in Germany with Germans. It just takes a little bit longer. And what a New Zealander would consider a friend is very different to you know the definition of a friend in Germany. So I've heard people say in New Zealand it is just so easy to make friends and everyone's so friendly and welcoming and you just have to talk to somebody for five minutes and they're your friend already. And it's sort of like, I don't know, New Zealanders really pride themselves on just being very, very friendly and warm and welcoming. And for a New Zealander to come to Germany and realize that people are not as warm and open and welcoming as they are in New Zealand, it can be a little bit of a slap in the face. It was for me when I first moved to Germany and was trying really hard to you know, settle in and make friends and build my life in Germany and people didn't make it particularly easy. A friend in Germany is somebody who you really know and trust and you trust them enough to bring them into your inner circle. It's somebody who you choose to spend your precious time with. You know, we're not guaranteed tomorrow and so it's really important that you use your time wisely and I've realized this is sort of the mentality of Germans. They are not going to just call somebody a friend for the sake of it. You have to really earn the title of friend. And in New Zealand, we call everyone our friend. You could know them for a day and they are considered a friend. And so this is the difference. In Germany, a friend is somebody who you trust and they trust you. And this trust has been built over a period of time and it's not something that has just happened, you know, suddenly. I think Germans can be a lot more cautious and just not as quick to trust people and to bring them into the inner circle, invite them into the inner circle. That person has to earn that trust. And I understand this. I didn't at first because obviously my idea of a friend was very different. Right now I can say I do have German friends, not just expat friends. I have a handful of really just amazing, lovely, beautiful German friends who I have gotten to know over the years and we can rely on each other for anything and it's taken me a long time to build up these friendships but i know that these friendships are solid and these are friendships that are going to stand the test of time i heard a quote a while ago it went something along the lines of you are the bouncer in your own life so 
a bouncer at somebody that like stands at the door at sort of a nightclub and tells people who can come in and who can't and it's basically you are the bouncer in your own life you get to decide who comes in and how long they stay and I thought that was amazing actually and especially when you are an adult and you have kids of your own you have to be really cautious of who you let into your inner circle and I think that is the mentality of Germans. You have to gain that trust before you can be considered a friend. So I'm going to compare this a little bit to romantic relationships. So I'm happily married. I've been married for over a decade now to my amazing husband. Before I met my husband, I dated quite a few guys and I realized that the ones that are so intense at the beginning and there's fireworks like love at first sight and the guy is just so intense and just love bombing you and it all seems just incredible at the beginning. Those relationships usually fizzle out very, very quickly. There's probably a better way to explain this, but when something just goes off with a bang, like everything is just incredible, amazing fireworks, there's usually only one direction that's going and that is down because if you start off at 100%, where do you go from there? So when you meet somebody and, you know, there may be some sparks, but you're a little bit cautious and you get to know them and you develop trust over time. And then it just keeps going up and up and up from there. And that's what I felt with my husband. Of course, I was like attracted to him at the beginning, but it was more getting to know each other and then sort of gradually falling in love. All these years later, we have the most beautiful life together. And I feel as though Germans can be like that. It's not all just fireworks at the beginning. I feel like this is what a lot of German relationships are based on, whether they are romantic relationships or friendships. It's about, you know, getting to know each other slowly and building up trust slowly so you're really sure that this is a person you want to let into your life. And so what I'm trying to say is in New Zealand, it may feel like people are so friendly and welcoming and, you know, everyone's your friend and everyone wants to be your friend. But how many of those people are actually true, loyal friends that are going to stick around? They may be a friend for a minute but they're not going to be there for you if you really need them. In Germany, I feel it's more about quality rather than quantity. I've spoken to quite a few Germans who have been to New Zealand and they have been quite disheartened over friendships and thinking that somebody is their friend straight away because they've come on really strongly and they've said, oh, let's do something sometime and yeah, you should come over to my place and they don't really have any intention of inviting you over to their place they just say that for the sake of the sake of making you feel good and it can be really confusing for Germans because they're used to you know taking a long time to warm up to people and when people are full on straight away they get mixed messages what I'm trying to say is just because New Zealanders are welcoming and open and warm and friendly it doesn't mean they actually mean what they say or it doesn't mean they actually want to be your friend it's just the way New Zealanders are you know it's their kind of like default setting they are just friendly straight away to everybody most of the time and that's just how it is in New Zealand and I have to say I do really like the warmth that you get from New Zealanders I don't think it's a bad thing and I think a lot of Germans can learn from that one thing I really struggle with in Germany and I still do is the moods can be a little bit down one thing I really do miss in New Zealand is just how smiley strangers are and how friendly they are something I do think Germans could learn from New Zealanders is you know what is wrong with smiling in public and you know giving a stranger a big smile I think it makes makes them feel good it makes you feel good and i really wish there was a little bit of new zealand mentality a little bit more of this sort of open happy welcoming um vibe here in germany and i think germans can be very close but just because you smile at somebody doesn't mean that you have to open up completely to them you can smile and then go about your day and 
I think, you know, I wish there was a happy medium. I wish, you know, New Zealanders were a little bit more sincere sometimes. I wish they followed through with what they said more and I wish that Germans could be a little bit more friendly and welcoming to people that they don't know. And, you know, you can't have it all, can you? But I do think this is the beauty of experiencing different countries and cultures. Cultural understanding and knowledge is power because you learn to not be offended by certain things. You just become so much more open-minded. And for me personally, I know that just because Germans are not friendly and welcoming and open straight away, it doesn't mean they don't like you. It doesn't mean that you can't become friends with that person. It may take a little bit longer. At the end of the day, as I said, like life is short. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. And we want to make sure the people in our inner circle are people who we genuinely care about and trust. And that is sort of what I've learned since living in Germany. One thing that really helped me is I made a video quite a few years ago just talking about my struggles with making friends with Germans as a mum here in Germany. I got a lot of feedback from Germans who said to me, Antoinette, it's not just you. I am German and friendships here don't happen like that. It takes quite a while to build up friendship. I just wanted to make this video so expats who maybe haven't lived in Germany for very long can have a better understanding of German culture and how it works and how friendships work in Germany and not be disheartened and offended by you know, not making friends super quickly and Germans not being as initially friendly as people from their country. And maybe Germans watching this can learn a little bit from New Zealand culture. It doesn't hurt to smile at people and, you know, be friendly. It doesn't mean you have to be best friends with them straight away, but a smile can go a long way and it makes you feel good. It makes the person feel good. And I just wish we had a little bit more of a happy medium here in Germany. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope the quality was okay. As I said, it was filmed on my iPhone. I actually decided to make a page where you can support my channel by sending me a little tip like equivalent to buying me a coffee maybe five euros or something like that that you can donate which will go directly back into my channel where I can you know put these donations into buying a better camera and you know buying a better computer to edit my videos because my computer is broken right now and yeah it's pretty expensive to just get a new one so if you feel like sending a little tip over to me I'm gonna leave a link in my description where you can do that I would be beyond grateful even for just a couple of euros it will really really help so anyway guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel and it helps get my videos noticed if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love you to consider subscribing I know that so many of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed so if you would consider subscribing that would mean so much to me Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye.